What's up guys, Josh and Michael here from Mixing Mango. So today we're doing a little video on the 2007 servers. So uh, yeah, well off. a couple of um, weeks ago, uh, MMG, Mod MMG, basically released a post on the RuneScape forums or RuneScape homepage saying that they were going to be bringing in a vote that was going to let the players of RuneScape choose to bring back a separate entity of like RuneScape 07 uh, servers, the servers that everybody has loved and has fond memories of and um, I think it was a really cool idea and yeah obviously it got released uh, last Friday and it's coming up to nearly a week now of it being released and it's at about how many votes did you say it was earlier? It's on 212k right, yeah, so it's at the moment. Quite nicely. Yeah and I didn't actually realise it has almost been a week and we're not like 500k is the ideal one we're not even halfway there yeah, so but it, still has, it still has two days I'm not really sure if it will reach that well yeah but I mean it's gonna well, it probably should slow down after this so yeah because we're not really sure if it will reach that I mean it's obviously gonna reach the because 250k is like the key one that everyone wants it to get to because that means it's A, free, and B, it's got quite a lot of stuff to go with it, you know, like, um, a s yeah, it's got like a development team, team and, and maintenance and anti -bot patches. stuff, hopefully. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. But, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but as for the, like, how it looks, I don't think I'd play it if I have to pay. Yeah, same. But, <laughs> yeah, it, it does look quite cool because it's kind of just, it's backlight when we the started the game. The would be very and so high. Be quite cool. us, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, because I, we haven't even played this game that much to be honest. Because I mean, we played like back in like sort of 06, but then we stopped for like three yeah, or true. four years. So really, we kind of missed like that whole period of sort of maybe like 2007 to 2012, like 2012, really. <laughs> yeah. So it would be quite cool to sort of go back and like I've been looking at some old videos and it does look really cool sort of it's yeah it's just mostly the nostalgia like going back and the fact that, that it's just like so simple and it's not complicated and it's not convoluted it's just like simply you do your skills you make your money and then you you make your bank basically and it's just so just it's just just seems yeah. exciting and but if i know it's a lot more of a challenge yeah, as well true. back then like nothing was really handed to you you had to do it you all couldn't... yourself there was no like double xp weekends uh, no easy ways to make cash, which is hard work, really. And like, if you had the skills, then you'd be successful yeah, in the game, which isn't really the same as it is now. So I mean, it like for those players who don't really like the current game, I guess it's really it's be, quite good yeah, for them. Yeah, I, I think it could be quite exciting uh, if it does reach 500k votes, and obviously for the one month's free membership. I think I will play it a bit, but I'm not gonna. Oh, yeah. I don't think either of us are going to move away from the main game for now, really. Yeah, yeah. stick with the main game. Yeah, I'll definitely play on that month, just try it out. Because everyone does start from scratch exciting, as well. Yeah. Uh, the accounts and banks is uh, a reset. So that's quite interesting because uh, that kind of like relates to the economy as well. Because, yeah. How, right. like, yeah. No, um, yeah, because like, because uh, like when you first joined the game, like whenever, so like, like two thousand and six, there was like people. Obviously, people were playing before you, so they've already built up this economy. But now everyone's gonna have to just work together to start a new one. And yeah, I think that's gonna be really exciting. It's... Just like, jet, like obviously the game's gonna be good as well. But just like seeing all the the prices of this O seven economy, like. Whips selling for ten mil, and let's say God Wars comes out and a Bandos chest plate selling for seven hundred, like seven hundred mil, like seventy, a hundred mil, and I think that all just like new price band, yeah. of people not actually being able to afford stuff, but then some people being actually really rich and actually selling stuff. It's just going to be quite cool to see. I know, and the thing is, like, no one will really have yeah, money true. as well, because obviously it was a lot harder back. A lot harder to gain money back so, then. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think if they put the G G into the game, because that wasn't released. No, it, I don't then, think it was. No, I don't think. I think.
think it was later that year or the next year. Uh, so if they release that, I guess Jagex could kind of like estimate where the prices will be and players can just mm, use that. But the there's still gonna be like a lot of changes to the economy and it'll fluctuate quite a bit because like no one really knows the price of like logs let's say because obviously people will be cutting them for wood cutting but then like for fire making no one really knows like what they're supposed <laughs> yeah, to buy true. them for stuff like that <laughs> yeah because i think the other thing about like all that is just the first people to get up to that kind of level of actually like training up their stuff and actually being able to afford that stuff they're actually going to go have to like kill the actual like tormented demons let's say to get whips and stuff so that's going to be that's good that's quite that's quite yeah. a cool idea i think at the moment in the eoc and before the eoc with the economy we quite we have it hands on a plate you know we just we go to the ge we buy everything there yeah. we don't actually go and make us own stuff and that's what people love so much about it is you go out and you actually make all of your gear which is i think it's a pretty cool idea uh yeah like that was i mean it's really easy nowadays it was kind of a lot more fun back then without the g and i remember like anything i get that i don't want you just sell yeah. it in the general store like there was no that selling in the good. g it was just get like minimum price <laughs> at the general store <laughs> just like being completely scammed for that guy because he just sell it yeah, for like three times sell, the like, price. Yeah, I know. He'd sell him a, G, a room plate for twenty k, and he'd go sell it for like eighty k or something, or he'd sell those. It's just crazy because if you lose your room plate, you can yeah. buy it back for eighty k. So uh, that was that was fun times. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So it was quite good. And then yeah, with that thing about like tormented demons and all that. I don't really, I think if people get those kind of weapons, like whips, they're not really yeah, going to sell them. So those guys with like the high skills are going to have a clear advantage. I mean, and if they do sell them, they're going to cost a lot anyway, so of, it's like you're going to be a lot more dependent on your skills rather than your wealth. True, because really. obviously there's going to be some players, like there's some big YouTubers that absolutely love the 07 servers and stuff. So. They're going to be on it quite a lot, and they're just going to get really high stats. So it's going to be cool seeing, really, what who's in the top ten and all that stuff. Because it's just basically bringing in a whole new game and the whole like starting a new fresh, starting a new economy. I don't think they're bringing back rares and stuff. I think that's just that's just going to increase the game. It's just it's just going to be more fun. Yeah, it does look quite fun. I mean, the only thing I would say. Is because now we have played like the current game. I don't know if it would be as good because obviously, like back then, there was no alternative. It yeah, was just true. that. But now, like, sort of, we're used to the faster XP rates and like the different graphics and stuff. And while the graphics sort of like going back to then, it is quite cool. But like sort of the other stuff, which is useful, like used to, like there's no money pouch. You oh just yeah, keep if you die, there. you lose all um, that. Yeah, I interfaces. That. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like you'd be so scared if you just like <laughs> lost all your money in your, uh, your in your invent. But, like yeah, all the interfaces have changed and all that. So it's gonna be quite a bit different. But yeah, I guess I some people for like some that, that's exciting so. because they just don't like this new EOC, which. Uh, Fair enough. I can see there's some flaws in it, but I, I personally quite like it. So. Yeah, and for anyone that is uh, worrying, this isn't gonna take away, like anything from the oh, EOC. Oh yeah, true. And I've seen some guys on the forums that are like complaining, and they're not voting because they think that development will go into this rather oh, than God. the EOC. No, in fact, <laughs> which yeah. like, yeah, it makes no sense. Because the fact is, if let's say it only gets a 250k and you have to pay then all that money is going straight back yeah. into the live game so really that's helping you like the guys who play the EOC so there's no reason not to vote like even if you're not going to play this it's going to help the live game if Jagex make more money so like I would definitely just yeah, vote for same. it and like you'll please a lot of the community there'll be like a lot more players coming back to play this so it's definitely a good thing. Yeah, so... Um, mm -hmm. So, yeah, I think we'll just wrap up the 2007 topic. just want to quickly mention... Yeah, uh, final clan. note. So you just want to... Oh, yeah, yeah but, we but basically, uh, we recently... We were in a clan, and uh, through some difficulties, we left. 
and um, so we thought we'd start our own clan. So if you guys want to join our clan, the Mixing Mango Clan, uh, we are basically a community of basically bosses and uh, other stuff. Uh, well, no, <laughs> I thought you said bosses. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, okay. I'm sorry, I was not thinking. I said <laughs> bosses. Uh, basically, we're a community of bosses. Yeah, bo boss hunters. Boss hunters, and yeah, yeah. So just if you want to join. Uh, Add us uh, on friends, either one of us, Mixing Mango or Mixing Mango 1 or 2, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, actually, uh, it'd be easiest to join our friends chat. Oh, yeah, true. We both have our private to friends, so if you just join our friends chat, drop us a message, we'll add you, and we'll try and add you to the yeah, clan. Yeah, we will, and yeah, so if you like bossing, not botting, bossing, and you want to come along, yes, we, go, we go Bandos, we go Armadil, Corp, uh, Sarah Domin, Zamorak. And other stuff as well. We want to get a good yeah. next team going. Um, well, yeah, we're trying to get a hopefully next team soon together. a Calfight yeah. King team going. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, if you if you want to do that, then uh, come join us, really. Yeah. So the only requirement is a one thousand skill total. Like combat levels would be beneficial because it is mostly for, like, we mostly do bossing. But obviously, like, if you just want to come and hang out and like you're a skiller, yeah, yeah, that's, that's cool. all good as well. So yeah. So yeah. That's pretty much it guys. Uh thanks um, for watching. Yeah. Goodbye guys. Alright, see ya.